Well, a couple of things that seem odd, Pat Brown, criminal profiler, A, that she gets a 50-second phone call and doesn't apparently have a conversation. We don't know if this person is male or female. Did the person have an accent? Did the person, was it a woman? Uh, as I just said, male or female. We don't know anything about it, but if you're on with for 50 seconds on a cell phone, you're going to end up with some clues. And so she gets this number. Now, you're right, police have had to have tracked her down because how would she know that she got a phone call from the missing cell phone? Pat. Right. Right, exactly. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities here, so I think the police are trying to, you know, really look through all of them. It could be that they, they did have some involvement, and one who was involved called the other with a stolen cell phone, and they're not admitting that. It's possible that those cell phones were left someplace in a public area where somebody said, hey, cool, cell phone. And, and another possibility, well, hey, wait, this is what I don't understand. Didn't the family say that none of the phones work because they hadn't paid the bills, so they were not functioning phones? Why are they yes, saying that's that what if I this heard. phone can be used? So that's not, that's not the Whoa. truth. That's a lie. Fascinating. Uh, that's a very good point. Now, the phone, 4 a.m., a witness on a motorcycle sees a man walking around holding a baby naked. Uh, I don't know what the heck to make of it, Pat Brown, but here's the thing. I'm trying to think myself, okay, I'm, I'm at home, and, and I'm in recovery. I haven't had a drink in 16 years, but you're, you're at home. You're drinking more than five glasses of wine. You're also taking anti-anxiety meds. Often people have a party when they're drinking. Now, she, she was drinking with a neighbor on the stoop. The neighbor leaves at 1030. Uh, the father is off. Uh, the father of the baby working the overnight shift for the first time. This is the first time. So does mom decide, hypothetically speaking, hmm, this is an opportunity to party. Who can I invite over or who might just happen along? Oh, wow. um, that's, that's a good, certainly that's a, a possibility when somebody's, and how about, mm, well, if there's alcohol and anti-anxiety meds, could there be other drugs involved? Is, is it a fair question, Pat? Well, yeah, it's a fair question, Jane. But what's interesting is the, fa the family, the parents, said that they already gave so like nine people that are possibilities and they've all been alibied there then they had to struggle to think of who these people could be now if you've been if you're drunk at your home to the point where you can't remember half of what happened but you know there were people there you would first thing you're going to think of is oh my god maybe one of those people did something to my kid you, that should be your response and something else is really weird when we talk hear about that baby being carried about in the in the cold now baby lisa had she had a little congestion she had a cold that night and one thing I haven't heard from the parents again is, oh my God, somebody saw my baby being carried around in the cold air. I'm so worried she could have pneumonia by now. Why, you know, we've got to find her. Somebody could, you know, she could be sick. I haven't heard that worry. It's almost like they're ignoring those sightings, which concerns me.